Yeah, I mean, hey, we were, we were just talking about, hey, welcome in, uh, Steve Henson, uh, Jimmy Charles. Uh, we're talking about a big 5K this weekend, and it's a goal to wipe out cancer, specifically prostate cancer. And we have Jimmy Charles here, musician Jimmy Charles, uh, Zero Cancer spokesman and recording artist from Nashville. We also have Steve Henson from the Prostate Network. Steve, let's start with you first off. Um, tell us a little bit about your story here, and um, tell us a little bit more about Prostate Network. Age 46, I was trying to get in Boy Scout camp, and there was a health forum. And on that health forum, um, there was there was a need to go get to the doctor. And so my doctor, he checked me out, and he did a PSA test on me. I didn't know what a prostate was. I didn't know what a PSA test was. But thank God he did, and they found this aggressive cancer in me. And because it was, it was fortunately, it was caught fairly early, I'm here, right? And in the process of, of all of that, I've learned a lot and um, met a lot of great guys. And in that, we started an organization, prostatenetwork.org. And we're grassroots Kansas City. We're here to support survivors. We meet on the third Wednesdays down at Gillis Club, Kansas City. And we want all men to know that if you have to deal with this, it's hard to talk about, but if, if you're willing, we've got survivors down there that will help you. Um, they are uniquely gifted because they've already been through it mm -hmm. to help you kind of understand what it's like. Yeah, uh, no doubt, Steve, one, as you know, one in seven men and one in five African-American men will uh, be diagnosed with prostate cancer. And as we turn to Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, you're a recording artist. You're doing yeah. your part in spreading awareness here about prostate cancer through your music, uh, yes. through your art. And you're on a nationwide tour right now, helping raise yeah. awareness and get men to talk about this uh, subject here because it's important. Because if we just heard from Steve, if you catch it early, you can live uh, a full life here. So, first off, I want to ask you about this song, Superman, who you yeah. wrote with the cancer survivor. Tell us about yeah. that. Um, just an amazing way that the stars aligned with this. I was uh, doing some volunteer work with Zero Cancer, um, and they asked me to write a song that will entice men to get checked for prostate cancer. I didn't know how I was going to do that, but um, I sat down, I found a guy named Phil Shulka, and he was a cancer survivor stage three, at least in 10, which was very difficult. That's a scary thing to know you've got in that stage of cancer. But he is a 10-year survivor. We sat down, listened to a story of myself and Goose Gossett. Um, he wrote an amazing song that has turned into the anthem song for, uh, for Zero. We made a music video uh, that is just so powerful. You can see it at German, germancharlesmusic.com. Um, it was on GAC, CMT premiered it, and it's saving lives because people look at this video, they hear the song, they say, wow, you know, I'm not Superman. I need to get checked, you know? And yep. I'm being a voice for these men because nobody likes to talk. Somebody's got to talk about it. Yep. Al Wallace is going to be uh, at the uh, 5K that's going to be happening at a Children's Mercy Park. Al Wallace, a prostate cancer survivor, uh, he's going to be out there emceeing. Uh, Jimmy's going to be playing, and uh, Steve, I want to thank you guys for your time. Steve, you and I are going to hop off the stage here because we want to hear Jimmy's still performance. sign up. Thanks for the race on that day. Perfect. You can register uh, on that day of the race. All right? Jimmy, take it away. Well, I'm up every morning, the best shape of my life. I'm everything to my three kids, a lover to my wife. Still run five miles and I get home, play pick up at the wire. So why's this doctor telling me should be scared for my life? And I didn't want to come here, I swear I'm feeling fine. So you say I got cancer, man. I say you lost your mind. It's the hardest thing I've ever do. Swallow my pride and face the truth and go through it.